Hello and welcome to this introductory lecture for VoxPol. So my name is Dr. Suraj Lakhani and I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Sussex and I'm also part of VoxPol's leadership team and I'll be chairing today's session. So in this session today we'll be learning more about the network by talking to two people, Stuart MacDonald and John Collins. Stuart MacDonald is a professor of law at Swansea University and also the coordinator of VoxPol and John Collins is a PhD student at Charles University in Prague. Let's go to Stuart first. Stuart, um, can you please provide us a brief overview of VoxPol? Yeah, thanks, Siraj. Uh, so VoxPol is a global network of researchers that collaborate and share expertise and experiences. Our focus is online extremism and terrorism. And through our work, we seek to increase understanding of extremist and terrorist online activities and to inform policy discussions on how to counter this threat. Uh, our membership spans different career stages from PhD students, postdocs and other early career academics through to experienced professors that have worked in this field for many years. Thank you. And what are the different types of uh, research areas that we cover? Well, our members come from a, a range of different disciplines, uh, political science, international relations, media and communication studies, computer science, data science, psychology, criminology, history, literature, and my own discipline is law. Um, and I'm sure there's other disciplines that I failed to remember in that list. Uh, so we have lots of interdisciplinary work where we work across disciplinary boundaries. Uh, we use a variety of different methodological approaches. We have quantitative methods, qualitative methods, mixed methods. And we study a range of different movements and ideologies, including jihadist groups, the extreme right and incels, as well as issues that cut across these different ideologies, such as issues relating to gender. Thank you. And you mentioned that we have a, a wide range of members. Um, what 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 regions and countries around the world do Voxpol members come from? Well, we do have members genuinely from all over the world. Uh, the majority of our members are from Europe, North America and Australia. Uh, but we do also have members from Asia, Africa and South America. And we're really keen to increase our representation in these regions. So if someone watching this is from one of those regions, then we, we'd love to to hear from you so please do reach out and um can you talk a little bit more about the current work that's going on at Voxpol? well we've got about 80 members so we have a, a large number of different projects going on uh we've got work that takes an ecosystems approach to understand the interplay between different online spaces and platforms We've got work on video games, work on image and video analysis, work on music, work on the mainstreaming of extremist ideas, work on content moderation and regulation. Uh, but one programme of work that I'd particularly like to highlight is work that we've been doing for several years now on research ethics, and in particular on researcher welfare. So we published a VoxPoll report on this earlier this year, and that's available on our website. And we're working towards the production of a set of guidelines for researchers that do work in this space. Thank you, and a really useful report. Um, and finally, what, what are some of the resources that are available to students and researchers on the VoxPoll website and social media platforms? Well, there's lots of resources available on the website, so it is worth having a look. Uh, one in particular is the VoxPoll Online Library, which is a collection of hundreds of different publications on issues relating to online extremism and terrorism. So that's a really good resource for anyone looking to conduct a literature review or literature search, making a start on a piece of work in this space. Uh, we also have videos and podcasts that would be of interest uh, to people, including a number that were delivered by VoxPoll members. We've got materials on there on research ethics and researcher well-being. We've got a list of open access data sets and data collection tools. We've got information on publication outlets for people that have written a paper and are thinking about where to submit it for publication. And we've even got a list of jobs that are currently being advertised in this space. So there's a, a wealth of resources available on our website. 
which is voxpol.eu. Great. Thanks very much, Joe. That's a really, really great overview of the network. So let's go to uh, John now. Uh, John, you've recently uh, set up the uh, set up Voxpol's Next Gen Network. Um, can you please introduce that Next Gen Network and your role within that? Sure. Uh, th thanks very much, Siraj. Uh, so the, the Next Gen Network is really our attempt at, at creating a catch-all platform for, for early career researchers who are in, interested in investigating online violent extremism. Uh, what we want to be able to give is 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 a real voice to to young scholars and 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 provide them with the necessary resources to succeed in the field. Um, the the next gen network is going to be built by early career researchers for early career researchers who really understand the 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 many struggles and and resources needed to uh, be successful in this field. Um, so ultimately, we, we we want to help raise and some and support the the next generation of scholars researching online extreme extremism, creating a a long lasting research community. Uh, and and so this next gen network is really my brainchild. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited to be taking the lead uh, on the project and and finally seeing it come to fruition. Uh, I, I think it's important to note that that note that I'm I'm not the only one. That's that's. Uh, Part of this network, though, there, there's a brilliant uh, steering committee that, that is coming from different regions of the world, providing their own uh, important regional perspectives on, on the needs of, of young scholars. So uh, it's, it's going to be very much a team effort. Great. Thank you. And uh, members of the Next Gen Network will also be members of Oxpole as well. Right. That, that's correct. Great, thank you. Um, so who is it aimed at? Who who, who would be eligible to join uh, the Next Gen Network? Uh, really, we, we want to include as, as many early career researchers as possible into the network. I think, I think it's really important to note that uh, you, you don't have to have some prior affiliation to, to the Voxfold Network. There, there doesn't need to be any type of institutional affiliation if, if you're looking to join. Um, what we're going to be doing is prioritizing resources for master's students, PhD researchers, and, and postdocs. Uh, but I think it's it's also important to note that if you're if you're interested in exploring violent online extremism, and, and you're really looking for this place to start, whether you're a bachelor's or or later on in, in your career, but but just getting started in the field, uh, we we would really be more than happy to to have you on board. Great. And um, you've kind of touched on this a little bit, but if you can talk in a little bit more detail about the aims and objectives of the Next Gen Network. Right. Uh, so really at, at the soul or, or base of, of this whole idea is to see early career researchers succeed uh, in the field. This, this is really the whole idea behind this, this idea, this next generation. Um, it often feels like we're, we're not really given the, the proper resources or, or proper attention, uh, although we are oftentimes uh, examining very extremist online communities. Um, so really, this, this next network is, is to create a community that, that can come together to promote the success of one another. Um, and, and that's really the ultimate dream. Uh, what what myself and and the other steering committee members will, will be doing is, is providing the necessary tools connections and, and, and network that, that is really so desperately needed. Uh, and once we have that solid base, once we have this established network of early career researchers, uh, then we can start expanding uh, on the resources and, and really provide this all-encompassing platform for, for those looking to, to get into the field. And um, what types of activities do you have planned over the next 12 months? Yeah, so so we have some we have some exciting exciting stuff planned. Uh, so we have a official launch launching date that that we have on June seventeenth, and and that's not really a, a coincidence date. Uh, we want to have a, a, a semi junior symposium in Swansea uh, a day before the the TASM conference. Uh, so we want to really provide a setting for for young researchers to be able to showcase their work in a in a more intimate or or relaxed environment, as well as provide the opportunity to network to 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 connect with with other scholars in the field. Um, in November, we'll be uh, featuring early career researchers in the Voxpol blog. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, by all means, get in touch and, and we'll be happy to showcase your work. Uh, as Stuart mentioned, uh, I think there's there's a huge online component to this Next Gen Network as well, uh, where we want to launch some sort of um, website or connection to the Voxpol website so we can keep in touch with one another. 
uh, the idea behind it is to have a uh, some sort of forum to to promote connections, camaraderie, peer support for for researchers digging into into these difficult topics. And really, it should be a it should be an open space for for whatever is is on the person's mind. Um, but also, we want to be able to share job opportunities, research ideas, um, resources for researching, and and also potentials for collaboration. Uh, so this this is going to interlink really well with 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 the new uh, Voxpo website that that's that's going to be coming out. Uh, and then finally, we have a mentorship program uh, where where we want to give juniors the the advice that 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 they desperately need by connecting them with senior scholars in, in the Voxpo network. Um, we envision it as a as a monthly free to join Zoom call where you can really talk about whatever uh, is troubling you in your research or, or or kind of steps that you need guidance on. Um, and and others can join if if you simply want to listen and and listen to similar struggle struggles. Uh, from from other early career researchers. Great, thanks, John. That's a re really great overview and, and exciting times ahead. Uh, all importantly, how can people get involved? Right, so uh, we're going to be posting a, a link soon where you can register your interest, uh, and it also give you the opportunity to share your thoughts or, or feelings on, on one of the most re uh, needed resources for yourself. Uh, we really want this to be kind of an open source process uh, where where the steering committee and, and the whole next gen network will will adapt to the resources that you yourselves uh, need in in the field. Uh, so I'm 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 really excited to to get this network going, and uh, I think it's going to be a, a really great tool and, and and community for 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 early career scholars. Thank you. And finally, if I can just go back to Stuart, uh, Stuart, could you talk? Uh, 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 just briefly about the upcoming TASM conference in Swansea in 2024. Well, TASM is a conference that we hold every two years and it's a multi-stakeholder event. So we have a, a strong representation from the research community, but also from other sectors such as law enforcement, policy, community, and importantly, the tech sector. Uh, so it's a two-day conference in, in Swansea. It's being held on June 18th and 19th next year. We've launched the call for papers, so that's available on the, the TASM conference website. Uh, it's a really well-attended event. It's a, it's a nice opportunity for the research community to come together and to catch up on, on the work that everybody's doing. And as John said, our aim really is to provide a supportive environment. So... TASM over the years has been an opportunity for, for many early career researchers to present their work for the first time in a public setting. And that's something that we take seriously as a responsibility. We want to provide a really uh, supportive and encouraging setting and uh, learn from one another and take the opportunity to ensure that our work is heard by key stakeholders and helps inform the important decisions that they have to make. Thanks, Stuart. And uh, it, it is genuinely one of my favourite conferences. And I and I think you mentioned the word supportive, and I and I yeah would would definitely second that. It's a a great place for particularly early career researchers to not only present their research but also to be able to 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 connect with people from across different different industries and different stakeholders as well. Thank you. And something that we'll be doing for the first time in. TASM 2024 is having a poster display section as well. So if you are a, an early career researcher and you're at the early stages of a project and you maybe don't quite feel ready to present a paper, then you do have the option of uh, applying to display a poster instead. So we hope that would be a chance uh, for MA students or early stage PhD students to showcase some of their initial work. And how can people uh, submit a proposal for a poster or uh, to be part of a panel? Well, we've got the call is out on the, the conference website and we've staggered the deadlines. So the first deadline is for the papers uh, and that's a deadline in October. And then the next deadline after that, a, a couple of months later, is for panel proposals. The deadline for applications for posters is not until next year. So that gives people a, a bit more time uh, to get their ideas together before they apply for that. Uh, but if you go to the TASMConf website, uh, look at the, the call for papers page, you'll be able to see all of the small print there. Brilliant, thank you both, that's a really great overview. So um, 
uh, check out the other uh, videos in this lecture series. Um, we've got uh, some really great speakers lined up for this term, um, really aimed at uh, students um, across lots of different disciplines. Um, as Stuart mentioned, we've got lots of different resources on the website. So we've got blogs, Voxpol papers, um, uh, job opportunities, internships, and all sorts of stuff. So really great resources on there. And if you're interested in uh, being part of the Next Gen Network, then uh, please uh, fill out the contact form on the Voxpol website. Thanks for listening.